since all the expensive stuff has died down, they started the two parties have started kind of talking about the big issues that are going to come up in the next election. And Ed Balls and George Osborne have both been out today talking about spending cuts versus investment. Um, Labour saying that the Tories, if they get in government, they're going to have loads of cuts. And the Tories saying that Labour spending is unrealistic. And in this recession, it's not possible for Labour to spend that much money on public services. So what do we think about the issue? Well, it, you do wonder where the money's going to come from. Um, you know, they keep saying, oh, we'll pump loads of money and pump loads of money in, but what, what money? You know, we were, this is the big thing, you know, earlier, a few weeks ago about, you know, the national debt is just being ridiculously high. We're in danger of losing our AAA status um, as a kind of a financial, financially as a country, you know, with sort of the, aren't we the, the, the poorest, not the poorest, we've got the, the, the G1020 country with the most national debt. Um, I mean, you wonder where they, all this money is going to come from. Is it going to be tax? tax increases. I mean, how's that going to work? Because I mean, everyone's unemployed and, uh, you know, oh, if people are taking pay cuts to keep their jobs and all these kind of things. And if they're going to, if they are, I mean, the only conceivable way they could do that is by hiking taxes. The Tories are traditionally the party that cuts taxes. But, I mean, I'm kind of suspicious because who are they going to be cutting taxes for? I know that the Labour's um, policy of taxing the richest people more was unpopular, but actually, if they have the money, shouldn't they be taking the burden from people that don't have? So I'd be interested to see who the Tories are thinking of taxing and how they're going to tax them, because if they're taxing everyone across the board, I don't think that's fair for everyone, because not everyone's being affected equally by the recession. Well, the problem is really that, you, you know, Britain is making uh, a deficit of £500 million pounds a day which is quite a lot, but the thing is, to, you know, the problem is, problem is to look at the bigger picture. So, for example, everyone in the past has been relying on, on the United States and to provide financial stability, to provide liquidity, all those kind of things. And, you know, the US is notorious of running a massive budget deficit every single year, so they're not exactly the best example. Mm. And, you know, if others follow suit, then you're going to end up in a disaster situation. However, you know, if, if you look back in the 1930s, the other time when you know, a recession has hit the world on a, on a global scale, really, um, you know, the New Deal and all the policies implemented at the time, um, they all were big on investment. Government needs to spend mm -hmm. uh, to, spend to uh, create employment, you know, to keep companies afloat. And you know, recently, that's actually what the UK has been doing by um, you know, providing cash injections or bailouts to, to banks, because if the banking system doesn't work, then there's no money. It's true, because if they didn't do the bailouts for the banks, the banks would have collapsed and we would have been in even a worse position. So maybe they do need to spend money to like keep it afloat. And perhaps if the Tories want to cut things, then it will um, prolong the rece recession and there'll be you know less... If they cut money from hospitals, there'll be less quality of life for people, won't there? Oh, definitely, no doubt about that. I was reading somewhere also a lot of these tax cuts that, that the Tories are proposing to make. I think that it's like ten percent across the board in most government departments. Yeah. Uh, they're going to use that to kind of turn back the inheritance tax things that, that um, Labour's brought in, so that the more wealthy people will be getting more of their money back at the cost of government spending. Right, that doesn't seem. No, I mean I'm not sure how how much truth there is to this, but I mean I, was, I certainly read about it today, uh, and it just. I don't like the sound of that, to be honest. I, th I, th I think you were right what you said earlier. You know, the, 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 more, the more wealthy people in the country should pay a little bit more. I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, to people like that, like, an extra couple of grand a year isn't going to make that much difference. Whereas to people on the lower end of the pay scale, like, it, that makes a huge, huge difference. But, you know, if, if you think about the Tory policies, like, economically speaking, if, if you relieve um, the taxpayers of a bit of their burden, especially in, in the rich categories, they can use this money to save it, then invest it, and um, by investing, um, you produce growth. And growth is basically the way out of the recession. Mm -hmm. Because by growth, especially you know, growth in productivity, then you create more employment. Um, even though initially you might take money away from the poor people, you will re reimburse them sort of with uh, jobs that have been created due to your savings and investment. 
But aren't we trusting quite a lot for these people who earn the higher bracket to actually do that? Because you yeah. never know. They, you don't, they're unpredictable, aren't they? But whereas if the government spend money, that's predictable income, that's a predictable investment. Whereas relying on these top, um, upper echelon of rich people to sow back money into the economy is unreliable because they could just leave. They could go to another country. They could invest in different things. They're like driven by the market, not by... I mean, perhaps, you know, as you were saying earlier, Julian, like, you know, the government... Uh, putting more money uh, into sort of public spending, boosting growth that way. I mean, yeah, we'll be racking up the national debt um, like now, but I mean, potentially, I guess the, the, the plan I would imagine yeah. is that you know we, we will we'll get out of the recession quicker, so that we'll be in a stronger position to start paying back a lot of that okay. debt. I think this is going to be the debate that's going to be had in the run up to the election. And I actually personally think that this is the more important thing to be talking about rather than MPs' expenses. I think it's good now that. The real issues are coming out. 